every modern army must have an effective air defense umbrella or face defeat. This was the hard lesson learned by the Iraqis in the Persian Gulf War. The British company specializing in infantry anti-aircraft missiles is Shorts Limited, whose weapons have a lot of combat experience. One of those anti-aircraft weapons is the Javelin, another semi-automatic line of sight weapon. The operator holds the bright aiming mark on the target, while a television camera in the aiming unit senses bright flares on the missile generating corrective signals. Missile tubes can be loaded, fired, and reloaded in seconds. Javelin missiles are brought up in an armored personnel carrier. One model uses a lightweight multiple launcher, which can fire three rounds in rapid succession. Here, the lone target is a hostile helicopter. The gunner catches it in his magnifying sight and puts the aiming pipper squarely on target using his thumb control to keep the chopper centered until it's destroyed. As this animated sequence shows, the missile begins spinning for flight stability as soon as it leaves the tube and the fin tips snap open. In slow motion, the firing sequence starts when gas pressure generated by the rocket-driven gyro blows the cap off the end of the tube. Then the rear closure is blown off by the launch of the missile. The rapid burn first stage motor propels the missile from its tube. At a safe distance from the launcher, the cruise motor fires. This takes the missile to its target at supersonic speed, out to distances exceeding two and a half miles. Any airborne assault force, such as these soldiers being air-landed from Puma helicopters, must have air defense capabilities. Few systems are as light and compact as the Javelin, which in its shoulder-fired version weighs only about 22 pounds. Javelin, heavy firepower in a small package, is battle-proven. Even so, Shorts, the manufacturer, is now producing an even more advanced model with greater capabilities. This is just one of many versions of the British Rapier anti-aircraft missile system in service around the world. The track vehicle is on the move with eight missiles ready to fire from its M548 armored launcher. Rapier weighs 94 pounds and flies at Mach 2, engaging targets up to four miles away. A deadly feature of the missile is that it is so accurate that the warhead first pierces the target then explodes inside the enemy aircraft. In one version, the operator wears a Ferranti helmet-mounted sight. This is directed by the gunner's own line of sight. Once a target is spotted, it can be designated by pressing a button. A servo system instantly slews and elevates the eight missiles to point at the target. Some versions of Rapier use command guidance to the line of sight, while other versions upgrade the basic system with radars, laser, and thermal infrared systems to give instant engagement, even at night or in bad weather. The latest version is Rapier 2000, now under development and expected to enter service in the mid-1990s.